Weapon insight on the M4A1. The M4A1 is a very versatile weapon. The M4A1 is one of my favorite assault rifles to use because of its low recoil and fairly okay rate to fire. But I don't get very many kills at this point, so I just decided to speed it up and you hear the care package plane fly by. And I hope it stops lagging soon so I can see what's going on. And that guy just gets owned with the M4 holographic sight. And so I decided to use the 1887s on this guy instead. I'm going to talk more about the gun. My primary weapon is the M4A1 with holographic sight and grenade launcher with red tiger camo. I need like, what, 25 more headshots for fall? But, unfortunately, I got a little impatient and I wanted to get this video done and over with. I wanted to do the video with fall camo, but I didn't have it at the time, so I just went with red tiger camo. And since I'm not going to talk too much about the gameplay, I'm just going to tell you right now that we do not win this game. But I can tell you right now that this right here is bullcrap. If you go back and watch that, I shot that guy. And he just decides to shoot me with the USP. So the gun does not have much recoil. And the iron sight isn't the greatest. So... It's good to use either a red dot or a holographic. I find the holographic to be the most effective for whatever reason. It's just, I'm comfortable with it. And I can tell you what guns I'm comfortable with or not because I'm going to get the, or try to get the Golden Skull title for all the guns. Which is why I'm not prestiging. And right now, you are watching what I might just consider the perfect setup, for Ground War at least. If I'm playing any game mode other than Ground War, then I will have the Grenade Launcher replaced with the Silencer. So, attachments to use on the M4 would definitely be... If you're, u if you're not using Bling, I would just recommend going with either... A red dot or a holographic, but I also had fun using the ACOG. However, the thermal isn't exactly very good on assault rifles unless you're using the ACR. So, as for sights, holographic or red dot, definitely a must. Little, little passive on the ACOG. It's nice to have if you're trying to get the extended mags. But the thermal, just don't use the thermal. It's just a waste of your time. And, uh, what else? For combat attachments, being the shotgun or the grenade launcher, I would only recommend using the shotgun attachment if you have a handgun or machine pistol secondary. Or anything that isn't a standalone shotgun as your secondary. So if you have a shotgun secondary, I would definitely recommend not using the shotgun attachment, because you already have a shotgun. But I just have to comment on this, because there's one guy with cold-blooded- There's two guys with cold-blooded standing next to one guy who doesn't have cold-blooded, which resulted in their death. Uh, the FMJ is good on any gun. The extended mags- If you're not using scavenger, extended mags is kind of a waste of time. Because usually, you only get two mags, and the second mag isn't even a full one. Um, if you're gonna choose between the silencer and the heartbeat sensor, you can have both if you're using bling. But I definitely not recommend the heartbeat sensor unless you're t comfortable with it. I use them on the occasion, but they just 
I play completely different when I'm using a heartbeat sensor because I feel that I'm depending too much on it and I'm not actually playing the way I normally would. And I think I mentioned it earlier, but I was saying that this is like my perfect setup. Everybody has their own perfect setup. It's what they're comfortable with, but I'm going to tell you why I think this is my perfect setup. I'm using my inside guns, my Model 1887 Akimbo, and I'm using my outside I'm using my outside gun right here. My M4A1 with Red Tiger camo. Now I'm using the grenade launchers because <coughs> because the grenade launcher other than throw, slapping on some scavenger while my army in danger close using it as a primary weapon, the grenade launcher is very effective for getting targets that are behind cover through obstacles. And the blast shield, I don't think I use it much in this game, but I use it later. I, I use it a lot in other games that I play. But ground War. Like if I feel that I'm going into a situation where there might be a claymore around the next corner, or if there will be somebody that's going to shoot a tube at me, I'm usually going to slap on the blast shield to prevent an instant death. And, I, and as you see, I'll, I take out the 1887s as soon as I spawn almost every time, so in case I need them, I don't. I could take them out a lot faster. I pretty much told you almost everything I can about the M4, but <laughs> it does have very little recoil. It doesn't have no recoil like the ACR, but it does have little recoil, so it doesn't bounce much. And just like every other gun in this game, it has no idle sway, which means that it stays completely static when you're aiming down the sights. And it's actually pr a pretty effective gun for sh just if you want to use something different, go with the M4. I mean, this is just my gun, I love it. And it is the first one on the list, which just makes things ten times better. <laughs> and my perks are Bling Pro, which has become my favorite perk along the lines. I just like experimenting with different combinations of attachments. And I'm using Cold Blooded Pro because one of my pet peeves is getting killed by Predator missiles and other air support. And Ninja Pro. Which I later decide that Ninja, along with Silencers, are not necessary in any way when playing Ground War. So definitely use perks in Ground War like Sit Rep. And as much as I hate to say it, Commando. So you can jump off buildings, not for r ridiculous lunge. So use perks other than ninja. Have fun with it. Like, there's ground war. There's just so many people. It doesn't matter how stealthy you are. Just run out, get kills. I do believe that the game's almost over. And if you liked the gun insight, just gun insight's just a series I'll be doing. It's not going to be consistent or anything. It's just going to be occasional. Now I'm going to be telling you how I feel about guns, if I like them or not, should you use them. And yes, I definitely recommend the M4.